Good evening, Terrence. This is your favorite alien speaking. And I want to do a special video today on something that I've seen over the last two years. About your well, scientists, as they call themselves. Except for Professor Hawking. Uh, and I've had a few inquiries about your scientists, and they said... You know, as long as uh, you can submit proof, and they don't understand, uh, Einstein didn't have any proof. He submitted a theory. That's not a proof. And it's still a theory today. Uh, Newton didn't submit any theories. It was all proofs. Uh, you know, it was all theories, pardon me, no proofs. There's nothing absolute, scientist. So, you know... Like you guys were saying here, uh, alien life, and you're saying that life needs water in a nitrogen, hydro, a nitrogen oxygen atmosphere. Now, come on, scientists, where are you coming from? Water is not the prerequisite for life. It is for a carbon-based life form like you humans. Yes, I agree there. But I come from uh, a federation that has seen other life forms that are not humanoid and do not uh, come from oxygen-nitrogen atmospheres. I mean, come on, scientists. You're, so, you're supposed to be looking at the universe here. And what are you doing? You're, you're using human-based eyes to look at the universe. You're so limited and, and you're so absolute here that you can't base the universe on your way of looking at it. You have to put yourself out there and say, hey, this is something different here. It doesn't operate like we want it to be. You want everything to operate like you want to be. So, give you an instance. There's planets out there with a planet similar to Venus and a pressure five times Venus's pressure on a planet that's only 150 miles bigger than Venus. Is there life there? You guys would say, hell no. You know, a, a temperature of uh, 1100 Fahrenheit, and like I said, a pressure of five times Venus's pressure, and you guys would say there's no, and I can assure you there's life there. They have their own org, uh, life forms, and they have their own society and yes they are you know they they need heat so they have to build in order to come outside their planet they need to have uh, uh, suits that give them heat just like you have to have suits to give you atmosphere when you go to the moon and there are other planets that uh, are completely methane and ammonia and Jupiter type planets so see there's life out there scientists you guys you know carbon based life there's silicon based life um, there's mercury based life and I mean as in the metal mercury so uh, come on scientists uh, can you please when you talk to individuals here and tell them, right now, we haven't run across any life. Is there a possibility of life existing in the mercury atmosphere, in a carbon dioxide atmosphere, in a uh, methane atmosphere or ethane atmosphere, ammonia? Yes. So I, I wish somebody would listen to this video and make those scientists say, hey, just because you haven't found it, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And tell them, the universe does not conform to your laws. You're going to find that out. The more you uh, telescopes you put out there, you're going to find that, oh yeah, the universe is what, 13 billion years? Our scientists have calculated the universe so far at 1.5 trillion years old. 1.5 trillion. 
And the Earth is only, what, four billion? And the Sun's, what, five? So if our scientists calculated that the universe is 1.5 trillion, and that's as far as we can see, you know, and you guys only get 13 billion? Now, come on, scientists. Do better than that, will you? Thank you.